hello i welcome you to this video in this video i will be showing you step by step on how to create a verified alipay account as a foreigner but before i dive into it let me show you some of the importance of having a verified alipay account first of all it helps in creating 1688 and Taobao account secondly it helps in the payment of suppliers without an agent also it helps in the trading in rmb okay if this is the first time you're coming across my video kindly subscribe to this channel so that whenever i post content like this you will get notified also going forward if you have any comment or you don't understand anything comment it at the comment section below without saying much let me take you to the screen as i walk you through the whole process all right guys so first of all you go to your app store or your play store okay and search alipay okay alipay wait for it to load so this is it all right so because i already have it on my phone that is why it is showing open if you don't have it go ahead and download and install okay from here i'll click on open all right this one here is the terms and condition of alipay so you can click on the blue button to agree okay and it will send you here here you click on allow okay here you could see that it's already in a uh, china country code click on it and uh, choose your country code or your area code all right since i'm in ghana i'll click on ghana or maybe you are in nigeria you can go ahead and search for nigeria you can see it right there okay all right so since i'm in ghana let me go and choose a ghana country code all right so here I'll go ahead and type in my phone number so here take note that uh, don't add the first zero of your phone number all right assuming your number is zero two four one blah 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 don't add the zero okay so after keying in your phone number click on sign up now okay after clicking on sign up it will send you here here you click on agree and here sms verification code will be sent to you as soon as you receive it key it here all right and it will send you to the home page of alipay all right so let's continue with the settings okay click on me where the arrow is pointing okay from there locate where the where i've circled okay so first of all you set your photo secondly you set your nickname from there you go back and go to settings okay click on account and security all right so with account and security you click on login password so right now you change your login password as soon as you, you click on it uh, sms verification code will be sent to you as soon as you receive it you key in that code all right and it will send you here here it is telling you to reset your login password all right and this is very important whatever you put in there make sure you jot it down because it is going to be your Taobao password all right that's what you are going to use to log in your 1688 okay so when you key in you click on save and it will bring you here here it says remember that this is the only password you will use to log Taba account and alipay all right so take note so here you click on confirm all right and save and it will bring you to the home page all right now let's go ahead and verify our alipay with international passport or traveling passport and uh just in case uh, you don't have a passport 
you can uh, use it to create 1688 account but just that uh, you cannot find your alipay to shop at 1688 for those who have it let's go to the me icon and uh, click on settings okay it will send you here here you click on account and security and here you select identify information all right here once again you click on verify now okay and it will send you here here is two ways it's either you scan your passport for it to automatically fill all the spaces or you do it manually all right so here it has a passport number you have the full name passport number date of birth uh, passport expiring date so with the date of birth okay let me pick this one all right you see how simple it is and with a uh, passport expire date let me pick uh, 2029 all right August 12 all right let's see 11 okay then click done please you make sure you provide uh, this information exactly as it is on your passport okay when you are finished click on submit for them to approve all right see you on the next video